Our history has been involved in industries such as mining, industrial transportation, um, uh, steel construction, automotive. In all of the industries we op operate in, um, design philosophies have changed over the years. So we've then started to develop products that are based on our current portfolio, but are um, looking at the characteristics of our existing fasteners to develop um, solutions for those materials. I think in simple terms, most industries have um, have, have started to adopt um, innovative materials. I mean, if you take the automotive industry, there's been a move from exotic cars using carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Now you're looking at family vehicles, um, whether it's resin transform molding in the bodies or um, uh, carbon fiber in the core of some of the more prestigious brands. You know, they're, they're, they're adopting these materials either from a, from a functional point of view, they want the vehicle to be more rigid, um, change where the center of gravity is, also to a, to a, to a sort of a, a light weighting point of view. You know, there's, some, there's obviously pressure on you know, electric vehicles being able to perform further if they can reduce the mass of the vehicle, they can, they can achieve that. So, what, and, and what the, the challenge we often find is that the, the fastening technology is a late comer to the party. They've decided on the material, they've decided on the design, they've decided on the structure. They then have to integrate all those in together so you've got. So an example, one in, in, in some of our um, uh, companies that are working with um, lightweight materials, are kind of a honeycomb material. So what you have is you have a rigid exterior to the panel material, then a honeycomb core. Um, we've developed a fastener, which is a combination of two other fasteners we've developed. It allows a flush, um, a reasonably flush joint on the front, so it's a, a, a like a low profile domed head. And on the blind side, the fastener splits into multiple um, sort of sections, so it gives a very wide blind side footprint. That enables you to then join things to that material that otherwise you simply couldn't join because a conventional fastener would pull through because it's a very thin skinned honeycomb material. So that's an example of where we've developed a fastener from scratch, but ultimately it was building blocks of. Um, faster technology that we already had, understanding the customer needs and then providing a sort of a value-add solution. In terms of the strength of the material, um, the, the, there is a challenge, you have to put a hole in the material to enable to install our fasteners. So um, the integrity of that hole is, is, is paramount. But above and beyond that, um, we're able to do, develop fasteners that don't do, don't, um, do unnecessary damage to the, to the joint. So, a lot of fasteners would um, expand aggressively inside the whole of the joint and we have a solution, a, a range of fasteners that don't do any expansion inside the joint. That doesn't then apply hoop stresses to what could potentially be soft or lightweight materials or fibrous materials, which then uh, reduce the risk of um, premature failure of the material. In general terms, whether it's joining conventional materials or lightweight materials, the fast, our structural fastener is not the weak point. Inherently, our fasteners generally are, are very strong um, they have very strong fatigue performance, they have, um, they're very durable and as such the, 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 the failure mode generally is the parent material rather than the, the fastener itself. Talking about the, the, the resources that we have as a company, um, not only do we have design, technology and capability in, at the location here, uh, we have that supported by a design, um, our design authority in Waco, Texas, who have a team of engineers there. Um, but over and above that, as part of the Iconic Group, we also have the Technology Centre based in Pittsburgh, which is a specialist joining technology centre. So uh, an example of that would be through our collaborative work with the Joining Technology Centre in Pittsburgh, we've developed a faster called the RSR which is resistant spot riveting. Now, whilst that isn't specifically designed to join um, uh, non-metallics, it can be used to join non-metallics using, uh, using spot welding technology, but a fast that we've developed that allows aluminium, steels, um, composite materials, all to be joined. Um, you would have to put a hole in the composite material, but otherwise there's no other hole required. So, and that's the kind, the kind of resource we have is that a large amount of our focus is on, on, on value-add, leading-edge technology fasteners. Um, we're not focused on the commodity market. Um, we, you know, we, we generally take on customers' problems and develop solutions for those problems. Uh, and we have the resource, but also we have local resource here to do that. Um, so in terms of, an example would be the Pentalock. The Pentalock was developed in, in Telford. 
the um, alo uh, stainless steel, uh, marine grade stainless steel mangle lock, which enables um, materials to be joined, and, and auto ball we're developing, which can be used to join um, carbon fiber materials, was also developed in locally here. So, from a dialogue with the customer point of view, um, we can um, we have the resources here to to collaborate with customers to develop solutions.